Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Rebellion 18 semi main event. Fighting out of the blue corner is the challenger, Helen Iliosti. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, a very highly anticipated matchup, Alex Ilyovsky. Bushy, what can you tell us about this warrior? Mate, Alex Ilyovsky, this is for the WMC Junior Middleweight Australian title. He's taking on the challenge, oh, the champion, Lewis Regis from New South Wales. Alex is at 21 fights for 20 wins. Uh, WMC Victorian champion, again, coming out of the eight late Warriors. They've had three, three from three tonight, looking to make it four from four. Bucket load of technique and equally taking on Lewis, who's one of the most technical guys in the country. Yeah, he's got a really strong left kick as well, uh, coming off the back of a couple of good wins. Uh, Alex beat Matt Webb. Um, he's also beat Ben Marnie in a rematch on Rebellion as well. They're his last two fights, and the before that, he lost against Ben up in Queensland. I think Lewis is famous too for having uh, one of the most viewed broken noses in the country a couple of years back when his nose was at about three different angles across his face. He looked like one of Picasso's uh, <laughs> paintings. I, I don't know what it looked like, but it was just all different angles. But I remember, I remember going up to Sydney and seeing this kid fight. I think it was about his sixth or seventh fight on a J and I promotion up there. I reckon probably 2008, 2009. I thought, gee, who is this kid? He just had, he just had a sublime technique, and I followed his career all the way through. And I just love watching watching him fight. Of course, he is a fantastic fighter and an excellent trainer as well. Lewis uh, trains out of SRG Thai Boxing in New South Wales. And, and, uh, an excellent trainer if you want to get down and take a class. What can you tell us about his record there, Bushy? Mate, 30 fights, 23 wins, 14 knockouts. So he's got it all. He's got the technique. He's got the big hands as well. And uh, this is going to be an absolute cracking title. He's wearing his, uh, his current Australian belt into the ring. As if to say to Alex, you're going to take it off me. This fight currently brought to you by Fantas. The each side, fought by three rounds, two titles. That will be fighting for the WEC Junior Middleweight Australian title. When that bell tolls, your man in charge is Mr. Bryce Bertwistle. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, this man is the challenger. Trained by Superboy out of eight blade warriors and a fish weight of 69.70 kilograms. A fight record, 21 fights, 20 wins with one loss. Fighting out of Lebanon, he is the current WMC Victorian Champion. He is Alex Ely Austin. <laughs> and across the ring, his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, trained by Dor Patsanana and Patihan Sorbitichai out of SRG Thai Boxing, an official weight of 69.70 kilograms, 30 fights, 23 wins, 7 losses, 14 wins coming by knockout, fighting out of Sydney, he is two-time, two-time WMC Junior, middleweight Australian champion, he is Lewis Sutranga! You know, and one thing we saw, you know, we know he, he puts on 100% Muay Thai. No auctions, no bells and whistles, just good quality fights. And that's what the crowd come to love to see. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is Alex Eliofsky against Lois Regis in the 69.85 kilogram. Five by three minute full tie rule bout. This fight is brought to you by Fantex. And of course, this is for the Australian junior middleweight title. The current uh, champion is uh, Lewis Regis in the red. Defending his title is Lewis. Defending only one loss on his scorecard is Alex. Stand there, stand there. Andrew, I know you're a fan of the tie calves. Have a look at Alex. <laughs> Call it calf envy. 
<laughs> so if Popeye used spinach to get the muscle, the biceps, then what do you do? To, what do you take to the cup? Sticky rice. Sticky rice. There you go, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Giving away trade secrets is Andrew Parnham. Get down to PTJ Muay Thai if you want to know the other secrets to Muay Thai. Locking up, trying to get into a proper clinch. Just a real test of strength there from those two boys. Neither wanting to get too involved in the clinch early on. That's it, we've got five. The tanks. That's it, got five rounds to get through. That's it. Alexi's so broad. He's got lats like, he, like he's a bodybuilder. Big set. Even though both these boys are orthodox fighters, they've both actually got really nice left kicks too. Both fighters testing each other out. Yeah, it's that left kick. Judging each other's distance, speed, timing. Saving themselves for the later rounds, maybe. fitting mouth guard they could not get it out of his mouth no matter yeah. how much they tried yeah. so, whoever his uh, mouth guard manufacturer is they've done a good job so you were saying andrew that uh, lewis won an award nominated i think nominated for uh, most technical fighter we yeah. can see why absolutely beautiful take down there to finish the round so looking forward to seeing a few more of those as we progress so that takedown, in my estimation, that takedown probably just leaned the win for that one round over to Lewis. Potentially, yeah, it was pretty even throughout the whole round. Like, could be, uh, you couldn't get in trouble for calling it a draw, really. But uh, yeah, that, that was a really nice way to finish the round. so far both fighters very experienced this is the Fairtex semi main event for the Australian junior middleweight title oh beautiful beautiful exchange there Tape to the thigh there from Lewis, just keeping Alex at range, playing around with the timing a little bit. Nice 
Nice right kick, catch and counter. Left kick from Alex. So much strength from these fighters in the, oh, yeah. in the clinch. Big left knee there from Lewis. Left kick there from Alex. Oh, big right knee there. Stabbing through the middle. Alex got another one on the way out. Another left kick there from Lewis as well. Doing a great job. Oh, big left kick there from Alex on the way out there. Almost got him on the chin. I think Lewis is just controlling it just a little bit more at the moment, Andrew. Yep. Setting the pace. And both fighters fight like they have so much more experience. I mean, these guys fight like they've got 50, 80, 100 yeah. fights under their belt. Yeah. Testament to their training. That, you know. Absolutely. This is the fourth fight of the night for the Eight Blade Warriors team out of uh, Victoria. The first for the Lewis Suit Ranget. Nice defense there from Lewis, blocking every kick there. It's good to see. Oh, left kick. Nice knee there from Alexi. Ten seconds to go. Oh, Big takedown. It could have gone either way. Another beautiful takedown to finish the round. So let's go and have a look at the replays of this second round. Again, I think Lewis tries for the takedown, but Alex stays upright. It's just. It's just a good quality Muay Thai fight with both of these boys. You know, the, the technique is is excellent. Anyone watch any of the kids watching this at home? Yep. This is what it's all about. You know, you just watch the way that where they're positioning their hands, the defense. I mean, you have to look at it to appreciate it. If you're just looking on the outside, looking at a kick and a punch coming. I mean, look at where their hands are going, where they're entering into the clinch. They're trapping their hands. They're preventing elbows from coming. Like catching, head of aid, so he's moving into the clinch now. Um, that takedown in the end there was beautiful. He was just that waiting for that knee to come up. Hand under the armpit, takedown. We've had a wallet happening as well, ladies and gentlemen. A wallet at the elimination. But now you have your wallet at the elimination. And there you go. So it's two rounds, both rounds ending with Lewis having Alex on the ground. Hey, <laughs> true. With so little in it between these two fighters, will that make all the difference? You're watching Rebellion Muay Thai 6 18. I think we'll see uh, Alex now really start stepping up the pace. He's probably been told by Superboy and Dom that he's probably down on the cards now. He's really got to start lifting it up. Yep. Nice low leg kick there. Lewis returns the favour. Oh, swing and a miss from both. Big smile sign of respect between the fighters. Oh. William Lou would have got a cracker shot there, or two. Nice, lovely left kick there. goes down to the ground for the third time tonight. Oh, Alex oh, traps. Defense. Caught the kick. Blocked the kick on the way out. Applied with a couple of big left kicks there from Alex too.
Lewis is just so measured in the way he attacks. He does not spare anything. You don't see too often under Muay Thai rules the axe. Yeah, 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 exactly. Classic. Yeah. Oh, massive left big. But Alex counters with a big right hand as well. Delivers it twice. He's got Lewis backed up. Oh, trading shot for shot. And Lewis has just basically said to Alex as he's throwing tra tra shots. How about the defense? You know, like he's blocking every kick. He's Really good to see, and uh, again, anyone watching at home who, who might have just started my time, take a look at the defence at the yeah. moment of the uh, of uh, Lewis as he's blocking all those kicks coming through. Hey, left, kick. left kick again. Low, high, low, high. Big oh, left knee. big left knee there. And a beautiful use of the ropes as well. Just pushed him back onto the ropes and launched himself into that, that knee. Well defended. Is that something you train for, Andrew? Like you using the ropes? Yeah, absolutely. Me too, but for leaders. Another cracking round. As you said, Bushy, Alex did come out hard in this round. But um, I'll tell you what, Lewis has got the answers for those attacks. Yep, the fence is really good. He's countering really well. It's sleek. It's not even puffing in the corner. Um, it's a sign of things to come. Just hit the halfway mark now. So a big four and five coming up, I reckon. That's it. There's only ten more minutes in this fight. Two rounds. Who's going to take it away? I it was interesting watching uh, Superboy as Alex walk back in the corner. He looked very happy with with Alex. He obviously told him he had needed to lift the work rate in that third round. He certainly did. But again, another good take down there from Lewis. And like you said, Andrew, defending those kicks so well. Nice big right hand. And again, I think... Cheeky little low kick there to distract, put Alex off his balance. I can't wait to see what the fourth and fifth rounds bring. I think really the fourth round is make or break now for Alex. He's re he's really got to he's got to turn the tables in this fourth round. That's it to bring him into the fifth round. <laughs> As we mentioned, we've got Zion to Sydney next weekend, and of course, the fantastic Warriors way on the 14th of April. If you liked that performance from River Daz, he will be on the card again. Here we go to round four. We saw Alex up the activity in round three. Don't know if it had too much effect. Lewis has got such an amazing defense. Big thanks once again to the team at Fairtex. This is for the WMC Junior Middleweight Australian title. Current champion, Lewis Regis. At this stage, we've got him hanging onto the belt. Turned. Neither fighter quite getting the advantage in that clinch. Oh, oh nice catch and counter from Lewis. Oh, 
swing and a miss from Lewis. Alex moves right back into the pocket. Oh, beautiful sneaky little shots there by Lewis Regis. Show there for Alex. Left kick. Let's get it caught under the ground. First takedown from Alex. It was just good, strong work and the grapple from both boys. Nice body shot from Ilioski. Nice head shot from Lewis. Lewis is doing very well with his defense, but I'll tell you what, Alex is putting a lot of pressure on. Yep. Lewis looking a little bit, a little bit tired. Fatigue starting to creep in a little bit. But that's a real nice, clean left shot. It's a little tricky. Left kick there from Alex. Hey, big left knee. Oh, switching it up to give the elbow. You know, Alex no normally really turns the pressure on against his opponents here. He knows that if he's going to turn it up on Lewis, he's going to wear something back. Yep. Oh, left kick for left kick. Oh, nice left kick exchange there. Seconds down. Nice elbow there from Elioski. Superboy celebrating there as Elioski walks back into his corner. <laughs> You'd hate to be judging this one, wouldn't you? It, it, it was a good fourth round for Alex, but I, but I don't think I don't think he's done enough at this stage to take the title off the champion. Let's look at the replay and see what we think. Nice little knee there, little sneaky elbow return. Just the amount of weapons being landed by Lewis. I, you know, it was a good round from Alex, but there was a couple of big left kicks landing up there. But uh, Lewis was landing some really nice clean blows throughout the round as well. It really depends on how the judges see it. I mean, Lewis has got three takedowns to uh, Alex's one, which was right there, as we saw. Out of all the rounds that could have gone the other way, that was most definitely the one that could have gone Alex's way. I like the way uh, Lewis did that. Just before that little highlight there, you saw Lewis did a switch left knee, and then when he went to do it the second time, he switched it up and looked for the elbow. It was great. <laughs> What I don't want to see Lewis do is just take it easy in this fifth round. Yeah. He's got to consolidate yeah. and just get some good points in, in the in the judges' eyes just to just to put that stamp on it. Wise words coming there from John Bushy Fergus. This is the final round for the WMC Junior Middleweight Aussie title. Can Lewis defend it or is Alex going to sneak it away in this last round? Let's see. Nice left right combination there from Lewis. Swing and a miss from Alex. Low kick from Alex. Nice. Nice left kick. Oh, well done from Alex. Well done from Alex to show such excellent poise. I'll tell you what, the energy's just gone up another level here in the uh, St Kilda Town Hall. Lewis just looked like Lewis was having a talk to Alex just. <laughs> oh, just a 
tell you what, for Lewis to hang on to this, he's got to step up the intensity in this yeah. last minute and a half. Absolutely. Alex, Alex may not land everything, but at least he's attacking at all times. Oh, beautiful. And you know what? Lewis has been on the back foot the last two rounds as well. It's Absolutely, Bushy. As, you, as we know from earlier on in the night, you know, there were some split decisions where we thought it was all one way. Alex is in his hometown. That could be the deciding factor here. Oh, nice left kick from Alex. Lewis's red corner, very animated and excited, as we all are here at Rebellion Boy Tie 18. I want to see Alex really bring the last minute or two into this round. Only about half a minute left, give or take. There, you've heard it, ladies and gentlemen. There's only half a minute left in this five-round battle between these two proven warriors. Who's going to take away the WMC Junior Middleweight Aussie title? They both just need to throw caution to the wind here. King for King, me for me. This is what it's all about. Alex just keeps walking forward, keeps throwing, keeps firing. Is it going to be enough to take away the win? Lewis on the defence and showing excellent defence, but can he take away the win and maintain his title? We'll find out. Boys, this is a close one. Here we go to the replay. I want to see the rematch of this, no matter who wins. There, Lewis traps the leg, tries for the sweep, doesn't win. Ends up on his back himself. This is the first round that... Uh, sorry, the second round that uh, Lewis didn't get a takedown. Lovely kick exchange, he has. Beautiful left shot there from, uh, from Alex. So strong. Nice body well, shot, team to... Yeah, nice, the decision. Up, nice uppercut. I'm going, yeah. I think a little bit too little too late, unfortunately, for Alex and uh, Lewis's defense. Was... Bushy, where, where are you going to call it? Mate, I reckon it's going to be a split point. Your first start, sort of contest, 48, 47, courageous. Your second judge for the company is 49, 48, Kip Iliotsi. Your third judge for the company is 48, 48. This fight is a split point draw. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Well, there you go. We said split points, <laughs> but I didn't want to get off the fence. Bushy wouldn't commit, and he still won. How does that work? I don't want to know. I want to know if you don't make a call and you still win. But Andrew, as you said, too little, too late from from Alex to bring it home, and you've got to you've got to beat the champion to take the belt. Yeah. Absolutely true. I'll tell you one thing. I reckon we know what we're going to have on Rebellion 19. That's it. I wanted. I told you I wanted a rematch. We're getting a rematch. Bring it on, Sainazi. Let's get the rematch.